Good morning, Champy. You want to go for a walk? All right. I will, I'm not going to lie. Of all the food I had in Chicago last time I was here, um, I crave all of it, but the one I crave the most, flying saucer. Yeah, breakfast bowl, man. Like, I felt so sick afterwards because I had to go bike with Rob, and he's like this competitive, crazy cyclist, and I couldn't keep up with him, but that's not going to be a problem today. It's just me. <laughs> Flying Saucer, home of the Trucker Bowl. I've been dreaming about this since I, since I came here like five months ago. Oh man, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to finish the whole thing. I think I have it to my dog probably, but it'll be good. Thank you so much. What is a trucker bowl? Well, it's, it's, there's ham, there's cheese, there's onions, there's giant biscuits in here. Is this gravy or is this Honda sauce? That's gravy. Gravy. We make the best gravy, we want the best biscuits. So good. You get a discount if you show us in class the driver's license too. <laughs> there you go. What are you doing? So uh, I parked up just north of kind of downtown area. The beach is right over this way. Uh, I'm just gonna maybe go for a walk around here. I'm gonna do some editing here in the van. I've got this beautiful vista here as my backyard. So Champ's enjoying it, chewing up some sticks. He enjoyed his half of the breakfast. Man, that breakfast, that trucker bowl. It's so much food. They're so good. Oh, biscuits and gravy, bro. Man, and the eggs and the, it's just runny and oh, it's so good. Mmm. Kind of craving it again already. <laughs> I'll have to come back to Chicago again sometime and eat it again. Anyway, I try and do a meetup with uh, somebody who's watching the videos here today. I'm going to see if that's going to work out tonight. And uh, I really want to eat a deep dish pizza, so that's pretty much all I'm going to do today. I also went to the YMCA and got myself a shower. I'm gonna have to do laundry, dump the tanks, get some propane soon. But uh, I won't do that today. Next couple of days I'll have to sort that out. But today's kind of like the last day in Chicago. and I'm heading out west after this, so I'm just gonna take it easy and enjoy it.
pretty spectacular ride, but uh, I really need to sort out these headphones. Every time I put them in my ears, I put the helmet on, they fall out of my ears. Or they get them right and then like I come around my first corner and then like they jam themselves in sideways somehow and like start cutting me. I hate, hate, hate these headphones. I'm gonna have to go and order something that fits inside the helmet. Uh, because I need it. Like, I can't carry my phone on the hook anymore. Like, the mount I bought exploded, so... I just feel like I'm constantly breaking shit on that damn motorcycle. It's so much fun to ride, though. It's just also very infuriating. When everything goes wrong while I'm driving. Always while I'm driving. Anyway, I'm meeting up with, uh, the buddy here. We're gonna go probably get some deep dish pizza. I'm excited. So I'm just on my way to go meet Dustin, but uh, I had to stop by and, and pick up some packages that I had delivered to like a, a friend of mine here in the city. And um, I don't know if you remember Austin from way back when I was in Pennsylvania, York, Pennsylvania. He has a little company called Bubble and Twine and he makes a lot of scented products, a lot of uh, skincare products, a lot of uh, beard related beard care products. And I've been using his beard oil for, well, every day um ever since then and i've loved it i've like fallen in love with beard oil i've fallen in love with beard waxes and stuff especially i like the smell the scents that he makes they're just fantastic and um i asked him for some more but you know like i'm traveling so i had to, he had to express ship them over to this guy in chicago and like look at this setup he has hooked me up so hard <laughs> it's good to have good friends man i uh I feel very spoiled right now. I thought I was getting like like two different uh, beard oils, but look at this kit. He even gave me this cocktail kit, man. Like a carry-on cocktail kit. It's so cool. It even came with a Casey Neistat style. Uh, you know, if I ever do mail time, uh, I got a Casey Neistat style pocket knife. So good stuff. Thank you so much, Austin. You're amazing. Guys, please check out his stuff. I honestly, like, I did pay to get this. This is not, like, entirely sponsored, but although, like, this is, like, way nicer than what I paid for. But still, Bubble and Twine, like, so good. So good. Especially if you have a beard, like, you get to smell this stuff all day. It uh, sits right there on your face. It's fantastic. Plus, it does great stuff for your actual beard and skin. So, I love it. Thank you so much, Austin. You're awesome. You're, you're so cool, man. Oh, God. I'm so happy. All right, I'm gonna go meet Dustin. You're meeting with a van dweller when they pick somewhere with plenty of parking. <laughs> I fucking love it. Not 100% sure, but I think that's his van. Because I mean like, if we were looking for a van dweller van, this would be it. Nice. Yo, look at that beard, oh my God. Dustin's sweet rig. Yeah. 30 miles per gallon. I I'm just, I fucking hate you for that. Or I fucking hate you for that. But no, like we were, we were joking around. Uh, if you take a quick look inside, it is, it is very clear. The, the light that was originally here. <laughs> <laughs> like I never even got it on. I, just, I was like, I'm gonna eventually do something with it. I just don't know what. And I've been in it over a year now. So, so. It's, it's very clear that a guy lives here <laughs> on his own. You can see like all the classic like Vandal. You got the Mr. Buddy oh, heater. Oh yeah, Mr. Buddy heater. You've got, got you know got the, the fantastic the, fan up there. The fantastic fan. The the Coleman dual camper. The hot water bottle. The a decent collection of plaid over there. You know, uh, like yeah. it's very clear that this is this is like a little man cave on wheels. But I like it, man. It's all you need. Yeah. Plus, you got 30 miles per gallon, and you got a lot oh, of space in there. And the uh, van life staple. Oh, ukulele. the ukulele, of course. <laughs> I've got, you know, I like hardly ever play mine, but I always pack it. I play mine a lot, actually. Okay, well, maybe you can teach me. I, uh, I really, I've just played today for probably an hour. Oh, wow. Okay, there you go. I don't have time. I have too much editing to do. Yeah, you have, yeah. <laughs> just edit all the time and sleep and drink. Okay, let's yeah. go eat some pizza. Dude, I'm totally down.
judgy bunch of bastards. Before you comment in the comment section telling me that I didn't go to the right place or whatever your favorite freaking place is, Dustin's gluten intolerant, so like this is the only place that makes gluten-free deep dish pizza. So that's why we're here, okay? It's just chill out. I made the right decision, okay? Let me go home. Uh, the there it is. You want the cheese shot? The cheese, oh yeah, yeah, pull it up. <laughs> I don't know if there's enough cheese. No, I think you need more cheese. <laughs> it's like linguine. It's like, it's so good. It's like a pizza casserole. It's awesome. back in the van. Remember that time where I was about to cross the border and I stopped by and bought some ketchup chips? For this moment, exactly. Hey, what do you think? Because Steps to Wander did not like this flavor at all. I'm totally down for it. Yeah? What is the, what, what's the best American analogy to this flavor? We put ketchup on everything here. <laughs> um, like, Does uh, it taste would, like ketchup? It does, like to me, yeah. So, what I was gonna take a picture of it and send it to my cousin because he puts ketchup on everything, goes through gallons of it, um, and he puts ketchup on his mac and cheese. Yeah, I've heard some people do that. Yeah, yeah. he puts it on everything. Though. Or craft dinner, you know, whatever. Craft dinner, yes. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, I'll go back for another. Yeah. There you go. You heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Ketchup chips are American approved. You guys need to start importing this shit. I just made a mess of that. I was like trying to film myself look cool. Uh -huh. All over my face. Mm -hmm. 